Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So here we are trying to show the pizza data by using the pizza component and sending the props data. So fine, so this looks fine. But we have a pizza data, so we are having an array of objects which are having more than 5 items to 6 items we are having. So if I want to show these all the 6 items, so how can I do it? I need to copy paste these all pizza, pizza items 6 times. So this could not be a fair thing. So tomorrow if anything 10 comes means I need to re re repaste all the things into 10 items. So this is not the correct behavior. So for this one what we need to do is we need to loop over this pizza and we uh, pizza data and we need to create the components with the looping. We have learned in our previous uh, video about the rules of JSX for looping this one in the JSX for loop will not be supported. So then what I need to do. So I have already explained to you that using the map data. So we need to use any JavaScript expression. So we can use the map data for that one. So what I can do here. So we can have a curly braces. Whenever you want to write a JavaScript, we need to enclose with a single curly braces. Now it will, it goes into a JavaScript mode. So we have a pizza data. Let, let's take the pizza data dot map. Okay. I will be mapping this one and we will get each pizza. So here I can return the value or otherwise I can return the pizza like this. That's it. So now we are returning the pizza. Now I can comment out this one. So now it will be created. How many pizza data are there? Those many pizza will be created. So pizza, this could be like this. Yeah, those many pizzas will be created. Now here we are returning NAN. Why? Because we are not sending any props data. So now how we, how we can send the props data? We are having photo name, name like this, right? So here you can use something like name is equal to pizza dot name. I can use pizza dot name. So like this, I can go on write each and everything. So I will try to show you the another scenario also instead of sending these all the objects like this. So we know this is a single object, right? We can send this single object at a time. So for this one, what I can do is I can use it as pizza object is equal to pizza. I will send the entire pizza object. Now this pizza object, we can use it here. Props dot pizza object dot like this. I can use it now if you see the output. So there at the end, you will be able to see the output. So here I will try to paste all the things. Okay. Now here I have paste, paste it. So let's remove this one. See now we are able to get the items. So now here I am able to show all the different types of pizza. Now if I try to remove, so for uh, if I try to remove uh, all of them, I if I keep only two means only two pizzas will be uh, will be coming. So if I try to show you, see, yeah, only two pizzas are coming. So that is the reason. So we can loop over the all the pizza components. So this is how we will be looping over the pizza components. Normally in Angular or Vue.js, we need to learn a special directive vfn for or njfn for like this but here there is no need to learn those all the things if you know the javascript that's it so you can use the map operator or map method array method which is present and it will do it so what does this map method does so map method will loop over each array each element in the array and it will create a new element so this has to return some data either it could be an array or anything so here it is returning array of components so this uh, so array of components it is returning means so then automatically the components will be displayed so this is how we will be looping over the components or anything so now we have understood these all things now what we will try to do is we will try to do some what i can say the design part so here i will keep these all the things in an ul okay sorry i will keep in a ul here ul and this ul i will wrap it I will wrap it inside this one. Yeah. So I have wrapped this one. I will keep this one as pizzas. Class name is equal to pizzas. Oh, sorry. What is this? I have written class name is equal to pizzas. Okay. Now I have written the pizzas. So let's close this UL. Yeah. I have I have given this pizzas. Now let's go into this one. So this should return each one in an ally. And here also you'll change it to li and here each one you will be having is an oh sorry pizza so these are the class names which i am trying to write it so here also you can have one div i will do some design yeah fine 
now let's go and uh, design some of the things in the index.css file so here in the index.css file first we are having a pizzas of ul right so for this ul what i will try to do is list style so list style i will keep it as an un so that the dot will not be appeared so the dot has been removed and i will apply display grid so display grid so if you want to know more about this grid i have already covered a uh, videos on the css playlist uh, the grid thing so you can take a look at that one so grid hyphen template hyphen columns i am taking the columns so i am taking two columns that is one fr and one fr each one with an equal width so we are able to get these two frs and i will keep a gap between those all the things for rem or something like this i will keep a back gap fine and i will take the pizza okay so each pizza i am taking the each pizza and i will keep it as a display flex so why because so it will come side by side the content and the image and i will keep the gap between those two also 3 rem or anything whatever it may be so just for the basic basic design only i am trying to do and i am going to the dot pizza image so i will decrease the image to width something around 12 rem or anything uh, just i am giving a normal thing so like this we can do it so now we are able to have some basic thing right so if you want to have these all the things also you can give it so that is the reason i have given dot pizza inside the do so you can have a display flex and i can give something like a flex direction uh, flex direction column so if i try to do it yeah here i can give a gap of around um, one rem okay so you will be having a gap here the price and all the things we are able to see a gap between the elements so now we are able to get this one so hopefully this is somewhat uh, better i think so if you want to have this one font uh, if you want to have a pizza uh, price means you can also increase the price so if you want to increase the price means dot pizza inside a span element so we have already keep in span element for the price so here you will be able to see the price so i can do a display block i will give mm, that's not needed just i am giving font size of 1.6 rem right yeah a little bit uh, bigger so that's it guys so the design i have did it the basic thing so this is this is the how we will be displaying the pizza elements in the data so we are using a map of map method which is present in the array methods in the javascript and we are looping over each pizza component each pizza data and we are rendering a pizza component now if you try to see here in the inspect element you will be able to see the pizza component so here if i try to see here in this one okay so here you will be able to see one ul ul and these all are li elements so this is how we will be rendering the list data in the react js so i will commit this code in a new new branch that is video hyphen 12 so this is a video hyphen 12 actually 11 is a theoretical about the uh, jsx rules and how to render these all the things i have told so rendering list data okay so whoever may be having a doubts or anything if you want to refer this code means so you can go and refer this code including the basic styles also i have did it so github.com uh, if you want to go uh, react right Uh, react 18 course so whoever may be having a doubts in this one so we have a react 18 course all the projects i will be covering so right now we are doing the project pizza app so whoever may be having a doubts they can go to this branch and they can go to the particular branch and you can refer the code hope you understood the description the github the github repo will be provided in the description below so you can take a look at that one hope you understood about this rendering the list using the map method so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video And if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you